Okay, so I've taken my block of Primo and normally it's actually four sections in the block. So all I've done is take my flexible blade. I'll tell you why I've done this before the video. And I just take this blade, and this is by Sculpey. They're very, very sharp, so you have to be really careful. I've sliced myself a few times. This, with the notch at the top here, it's the non-sharp side. So what you're going to do... I usually use about an eighth of a block of clay to create one pendant. So I'll cut one section and then just simply cut that section in half. Okay, the so next thing that you would do is to, um, you need to, you know, soften the clay a little bit. So you just do that by rubbing, I just use it in the palm of my hands and I roll it into a bit of a ball until it's just nice and soft enough to work with. Um, conditioning, that was the word I was trying to think of. You condition your clay. <laughs> and um, so I did one early because this clay is actually quite hard because it's been in my basement so it was quite cold. So now I have this ball of clay. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take two rubber stamps, two deeply etched rubber stamps. So I've taken this one and I'm going to turn this upside down. You can see I'm working on a ceramic tile here. Just makes it easier. And then I'm going to spritz this stamp with a little bit of water. As I mentioned, you use this as a, a bit of a release so your clay doesn't stick. And I'm going to decide to pop my ball of clay here. Then I'm going to take my second deeply etched stamp and then I'm going to spritz that with water very quickly. Just a fine spritz, you don't need too much. Then you pop this stamp and you're basically sandwiching the clay in between the two stamps. And you need to press, you know, fairly hard but just so you get an impression. Ooh. Okay, so let's put these aside. Drop these on the floor for now. <laughs> so as you can see, or you might not be able to see yet, but there's one side and there's the other side. Okay, what I'm going to do next is just pat the stamp dry. Just don't rub it because you'll lose the pattern. Because I want to then go in with my gold leaf. Now I use the gold leaf before the pearl X powders or the mica powders simply because the gold leaf sticks directly to the clay. Um, if you use your pearl X powders first the clay and um, the the leaf, the, the gold leaf won't stick quite as well. So let's put these aside as well. So this is my gold leaf. Now this stuff flies everywhere every time. Oh look how pretty that is. <laughs> every time I use this in a class People go home with it stuck to their hair, stuck to their clothing and their shoes and oh yeah. So it's very, it's just so fine, look at this, it's like tissue. So I like to tear it and I'll just, I use tweezers sometimes, then I'll use my finger to just sort of press it in. So tearing just little pieces of gold leaf. Oops. You know, I'm just going to use my fingers. <laughs> And as you can see, it sticks really well. And it doesn't have to cover the whole piece. I just like to highlight areas of the pendant. And now what I like to do also is go over the edge here as well. So you just make sure that gets in there. And then I'm going to take this piece, turn the pendant over, because it's going to be a double-sided pendant. <laughs> my cat likes to chase this stuff <laughs> I've got to be so careful that she doesn't eat it <laughs> not good for her okay so I think that'll do oops sorry <laughs> okay the next thing I'm going to do is take my mica powders now I love these things so I'm very much into metallics and gold and bronzes and all that sort of thing excuse my hand here while I take the lid off so this one is super bronze, this one is red russet, don't know if you're getting to see the colours here, and this one is sunset gold. Now what I like to do is maybe add two or three colours, but I might just go with the bronze and the russet on this one. And you know this is where you get your hands mucky. I love to just dip my very tip of my finger in or I'll rub 
the edge so you can see I've got some powder on there and this really helps to bring out the pattern too so you just rub over the top I'm going to hold this like this and do you see how the pattern is showing up okay and then I'll do the same on the other side just take some more powder on my finger here okay and then just very lightly rub and you can see where the powder hasn't gone in it shows the pattern of the clay so the next thing I'm going to do is go in with my super bronze and I'm going to go over parts of this as well and maybe around the edge a little okay and then turn it over and then do the same on the other oh that really makes it stand out <laughs> okay So there you have it. The next thing I would do, my final thing, would be to poke a hole because it's going to be a pendant and I think I'll have the hole hmm, about here. So I've just taken a stylus, uh, just an embossing stylus here, if I can take my bigger one, and push right through the clay. And then you can kind of see, just push that through, come around the other side, push through that side. And there you go. So now I'm going to go and bake it and then in parts two or three or whatever it is the next, I think it's part two, <laughs> I'll do a separate video so I can show you how to finish it off. Okay, hope you had fun watching that and I'll be uh, back when it's baked. Thank you.